Hi, my name is Katie. My best friend's name is Max. And we are from Lexington, Kentucky. And you are watching the Oh My Gosh. Give me kiss. I found the ultimate clown jackpot. Oh, check this out, man. Got some clowns in here. And then check this guy out right here. Look how cool he is. I think I'm gonna take him too. Yeah, we'll do him too. And then I'm gonna get these pictures here too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you for all the cool clowns. Yeah, I got tons of them. Boston, awesome, what'd you get? get? Two, you can get two more toys. All right, go pick cool. two more. We got this clown and that clown. And I'm getting a bunch of clowns, by the way. Okay. And then there's some up there too. I just hit a major clown jackpot. Look, look at all these cool clowns. I'm gonna show them to you in a second, okay? What is up, fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to another life movie slash adventure. I got my family here with me. Goes Malia, Javi. We got Boston. Got Tiff. And we're doing something a little bit different. In fact, I did a video like this just one time before where I was hitting up yard sales. During our winter months here in Florida, it gets a little bit cooler. It's probably summertime to other people, but there's a lot of garage sales happening in my community and we just hit one up right now. It was pretty awesome. I found some clowns here. In fact, I'm gonna show you the clowns in a little bit. I got so many clowns for 40 bucks. Like that's, I know that sounds like a lot of money, but some of the clowns that I got were probably worth $40 alone and I got a bunch. Hard to find clown stuff to begin with in the first place. I know because if you didn't know, I have a cottage that I'm working on where I'm gonna decorate the whole thing in clowns, not just happy clowns too, even scary clowns. And I'm gonna make it a place where you could come visit and maybe test your fear of clowns. She's gonna be our first customer. Nope, I will. Yeah, you're gonna hang out with some clowns at nighttime? It's probably gonna be one of those Airbnbs that don't get rented out very much. But anyways, we're gonna be going around town and seeing if we can find some really cool stuff. I'm still looking for clowns. However, I'm just looking for some really neat things for the house too. This was a really nice garage sale. There was quite a few things there. What'd you get? Two hand skateboards. Oh, cool, you can go hand skateboarding. So, I just bought this guy. And it's funny because when I asked about him, if he comes with a spirit, the lady kind of laughed. I turned the camera off. She kind of shared some stuff. I didn't want to get her on camera because I didn't know she was comfortable with it. In fact, I was using my built-in camera sunglasses. So they're a little bit, you know, less invasive. But she said that this is her girlfriend's doll. And every time she goes over there, she swears that it moves. Lights will turn off by themselves when this doll is around. I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about this but they told me that there could be something attached to it because they have seen it move. He did come with a sister too. I'm not sure how old he is, but he is a collectible and he's cool looking. Well, he even came with some papers. This doll came from Spain and yeah, I paid $75 for him. I guess they're going for like two or $300 on eBay, but I didn't buy this to make any money off of it. I bought it to investigate. Die Freundschaft for in ganzes Leben. I don't know if I said that right. Man, I feel like I should get his sister, or he's gonna be mad at me. Should I get his sister? No. No. You should get in the car. Yes. 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 Get it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't listen to a seven-year-old. Yes. Get in the car. Go yes. get the sister. Yes. Yes. Get in the car. <laughs> Go get it. Go get it. I feel like he's gonna be mad at me. Um, I'm mad at you. You're mad at me for getting the doll? Yeah. Why? Go get it. It was expensive. Two. It's the doll like you've seen it and you heard what the lady said there's always advantages and disadvantages to starting things early or late today we kind of started garage selling a little bit late one of the reasons why that's probably not a bad thing is because just like this garage sale that we just came from right now i wasn't able to record it because these are my camera sunglasses right here that i was using they stop working but yeah when we approach this garage sale the lady said everything's half off so that's the nice thing about showing up late there's a lot of stuff in these people's driveway right now and everything's half off there wasn't a whole lot not gonna lie there was a couple cool things they had a bread maker like you know to make like banana nut bread and things like that and it was like three dollars you guys see that house right there just a couple houses down from the garage sale that we were at. We looked at that house. We were looking for a house to buy a while back and that house right there, we were wondering, there was like holes in the walls, 
blood on the floor. I mean, how can you describe that house? Like an abusive house. Right, like there had to have been something that happened there. Come to find out, and one of the reasons why the house was so cheap, the man who lived there, I guess he was in a, in a very abusive domestic relationship, and the police showed up. He was threatening to kill himself or something, and I'm not sure if this is, yeah, you could probably look it up, Wikiwachi, Florida, that's where it's at. Well, it was death by, what's it called? Death by suicide from cop, like a cop, from cop or something like that. Right, so he threatened to, I, I guess he aimed a gun at a cop and the cop had no choice but to kill him. And it happened right outside where I just showed you. And I mean, think about how that police officer must feel too, you know, like. Well, they knew him too. Oh, they, oh, cause yeah, he was the he next was, cop. He was a retired police officer. I forgot about that. He was a retired officer. We got like a drive through garage sale right here. Oh, look, a hedge trimmer. I kind of need one of those. Um, what's over here? Just looks like a bunch of crystals. That's a nice tripod right there. What's all those? Um, those are sprinkler heads. Oh. You know what I do want? Is this thing right here. To put all my screws and stuff. That's a good idea. And it comes with some free screws. Another garage sale. So, we do need some bar stools. And I asked them how much. I'm getting all of these for $20. Yeah, not $20 each. $20 for all. Does that feel like a good homework chair? Yeah? We have been looking for parcels too. This is such a good deal. Got a lot of tools and stuff. Oh, uh, one thing that got my eye on over here. Whoa, look at this guy. But this is an echo blower. Yeah, $125, that's not bad for that. Wonder if it works. Y'all always asking me what the best vlogging camera is. I think it's this one right here. Hey, what's going on? Look at that. That's a great vlogging. How much is this? It's new, too. Limpus. Look at that screen size. Hey, look, Tiff, for your DVD collection. I have that one. You have that? You already have all these. Yeah. Oh, this is a great movie. I don't right have here. all these. That's a good movie, though. Got a bunch of Star Wars memorabilia. Or Star Wars stuff. Cool. What does that say? Uh... Got some more Star Wars, remember? Got some old Cokes here, that's cool. For all you toy collectors out there. Got some Ronald McDonald stuff. Some Sesame Street. Oh, look at these. They're little figurines for the movies. Oh, wow. That's cute. See I know somebody's gonna watch this video and be like, dude, that was worth $100. These are so, so cute. Cool. More clowns. This guy's cool right here. And there's a really neat one right here. This goes to show you never judge a book by its cover because even Tiff was like, she looked at this clown because it's heavy. How much you think they wanted for this clown? Well, based off the other things that were around it, around the table, uh -huh. I thought they were gonna think like $10 or $15. I, I was like thinking, yeah, like maybe 20 or $30. This is heavy. And Rustin Prodding. Oh, this looks really expensive. And it's from 1986. Like, this is an old clown. I mean, not old, but. Watch your mouth. Older. What? I'm from the 80s. I'm an yeah, 80s but baby. Yeah, that, that came after me, and you're like, this is an old clown. That clown's cool. He's kind of creepy looking. Look at that. And then I was kind of eyeballing this guy, and she was like, you could have him for a dollar. Look, he even has like a, we could, we could make that a balloon. It's cool. Look. And it does take batteries. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. You didn't even say how much this one was, did you? Oh, Wait, yeah, I didn't. I paid five dollars, five bucks for this guy. And he's pretty cool looking. He's, ooh, definitely a little creepy. I'm gonna show you the other clowns that I have in the back. And we also got some more bar stools. Yeah, we, we can't complain about the whole bar stool thing. I got three extra bar stools for $25. And I think those might match my furniture a little bit better. So the white ones, are just kind of like a bonus. Yeah, we'll have them in the garage for a little bit. All right, so here's our other bar stools we got for 25 bucks. Not too bad. We got the other ones, of course, for $20, the four. We got this entertainment center. Malia got it for her boyfriend for $2. And I did get this for, you know, organizing screws in it. It did come, oh look, it came with a nice little cross. What was that? 
Got some uh, self-tapping screws there. Oh, don't want to get that by the tires. But yeah, got that for five bucks. Oh, and then this is really cool. I got a wetsuit, body glove wetsuit. Cause I love going on the skis and sometimes maybe in the water when it's a little colder outside. $20 for this and it's in really nice condition. Fits me perfect. These are usually like over a hundred dollars, very expensive. So yeah, got that. And I got a, a ramp for the dog. That was five bucks. This was probably my most expensive. Got this guy. Uh, we're gonna need to turn his little box here into a coffin. That would be cool. We could make this a coffin. He's creepy. Wonder what we should call him. I don't know. I never thought I'd find a haunted doll at a garage sale. I'm not saying he's haunted just yet, okay? Just because the owner said so, I'm gonna find out. And there goes, of course, all my clowns. I'm gonna show those to you in a second. Check out our $25 bar stools. That's awesome. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the clowns that I got today. They're pretty awesome. This is not my full clown collection, by the way. I have maybe like two other boxes with a lot more clowns. I'm gonna probably get like a china cabinet that I can lock so I can put some of these figures. I might have some out. Yeah, I'm gonna have a cottage that is decorated in clowns. Creepy clowns, happy clowns, just all kinds of clowns. You know, these are the guys that I showed you earlier. I do have these kind of remind me of the clown motel, like the old school clown motel. You know, they used to have like in their, in their rooms, like old pictures and that was pretty much the clown motel in a nutshell. Like you go to the clown motel, stay in one of the rooms and they have just one of those pictures. It wasn't like all clowned out, except for the office. The office, a lot of clowns, kind of like what I have here, like figures. But my cottage that I have, I'm gonna go a step further. There's gonna be murals everywhere. I mean, I even have a damn cookie jar that's made out of a clown. This guy's pretty creepy right here. Oh, where's his hat at? He does have some little balloon balls there too. Whoa, okay. All right, I'm gonna put you down right there. These guys are the creepiest too, and their eyes move, look at that. I don't know how old these guys are, but yeah, definitely creepy. Here's a little little hat for him. I don't know if that hat belongs to him, but I think it, it fits him pretty well. This guy's a wind-up. Oh, he moves. Oh, that's it? That's all you're gonna do for us? But yeah, just wanted to show you my, my clown collection. There's a lot more to come. It's gonna be cool. There's a lot of clowns you have not seen too. Got quite a few of them. Alrighty fam, so made it back home. I'm gonna start looking over this footage and you let me know here in the comments if we missed anything that was probably a really good deal. I'm thinking about maybe doing a series, maybe a small series, cause we get a lot of garage sales here in Florida in the winter time, a lot. It seems like every single weekend, some really good deals at flea markets too. And I think a lot of stuff comes from maybe storage unit auctions. Sometimes these people, they'll, they'll buy these storage units and then I've seen it done before. I'll go to a flea market and there's a storage unit auction person just selling I guess they go through everything and they keep what they want and then all the rest of all the other junk, they end up selling it to like a flea market person. So yeah, if you ever wonder like how do some of these places get stuff all the time, it's usually because of that. It could also be foreclosure homes, just yeah, a ton of random things. If you're wondering too, I'm wearing some blue blockers. I learned this from my friend Roland. He'd always wear them at nighttime and he would really freak out if he didn't have his blue blockers on at nighttime. So I was like, man, you know what? He really pays a lot of attention to those blue blockers and they must be a pretty big deal. First night I wore these, they are great. I bought them on Amazon, I think they were like 30 bucks. But what they do is they cancel out a lot of the blue light and they relax your eye muscles so then you could fall asleep a little faster. And I have problems sleeping already so this definitely helped. I slept throughout the, the night and it was, it was nice. So if you're having any like sleep problems, get some blue blockers like this, wear them at nighttime. You know, I'm doing a lot of editing and stuff at nighttime and getting ready to edit a vlog right now. So, you know, wear these for a couple hours right before I go to bed and I'm good. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to everybody that was in my video today, including you. Gotta go for now before we leave. Okay.